Welcome back to another video. Before I show you guys the boat I live on, my home, I wanted to tell you that we just made it to St. Kitts and Nevis or something. We were just in St. Martin, which is about like 60 nautical miles north of us right now. Feeling kind of groggy and gross. That's just what happens on passages when you leave at 5 a.m. in the morning and the anchorage is rolly and it's just like a never-ending like roll you know so i'm gonna i'm gonna jump in because i'm overheated and i have a headache my eyes feel like they're bulging out of my head so yeah so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go jump in and then i'm gonna show you guys my boat Woo! me and Jaden are jumping off our boat I get asked a lot, like, what's your favorite thing to do on your boat? <laughs> it's, it's honestly jump off. Yeah. <laughs> right, Cohen? Yeah. Yeah, like, there's not really anything, like, fun to do on the boat. It's not like, oh my gosh, I love just, like, being on the boat. It's not like that. It kind of was like that when I first moved on, because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm, like, living on a boat. It's so crazy. But now it's just like, okay, let's jump off of it. We love the ocean, right? Yeah. This is Cohen, he's six. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You'll always fall in asleep late in the night when I think you're listening to me. And I've told you. Papaya! I've got to scoop the seeds out. Feels unfamiliar. Feels like strangers in the sheets. Okay, now we sit out in the cockpit and eat our breakfast. We have a big table right here that we eat at. Pretty nice. Some people think that papaya tastes like throw up, but I personally don't think that. I think it tastes like, kind of like cantaloupe, but just a little less fruity. I don't know, it, I love it. So, let me know. If you've tried papaya, do you like it? Or do you think it tastes disgusting? Is it just me? Do you feel something missing? Feel something missing? I can't show you my room like this. Um, it's it's actually embarrassing, so I'm gonna clean it. And then I'm gonna show you my room. <laughs> okay, I have finished cleaning my room, made my bed, I did it all. So now you guys can get the full tour, the full experience of the boat I live on. It's a Lagoon 450, and we got it about a year and a half ago now. Yeah. So my room is starboard forward of the boat. When we're on passages and stuff, I cannot sleep at night because it's like this. So this is the door, you walk through the door and then you got my bathroom right there. So this is my bathroom shower. <laughs> the door closes, you have to latch it. And then what you do is you turn on oh, the sun. Oh, that feels good. And then you gotta switch this thing on to suck up all the water. <laughs> hey. Oh, it's actually so hot. You can't take too long of showers because, well, we make our own water. Okay, enough of that. That gets annoying. Cool. <laughs> Woo! This is my room. Um, It's small, but it's all I need and I love it so much. Um, but yeah, let's go see the rest of the boat. This is my brother's room. I'm not gonna make him clean it just for this video. His bed is a lot bigger than mine, but he has our battery under his bed, which makes his room a lot hotter, which I don't like. So yeah, he just has a closet, a bed, some drawers in different places, and also a bathroom. We keep some of our food in his shower, which is also a mess, but hey, we live with six people, so nothing can be always clean. Ever. Brother's room, my room, and then you go up these steps. And then down here we have two more rooms. Hello! Oh my gosh, can you show us your room? Welcome. 
It's my girl cave. Your girl cave? Oh, I like it. So Britain's room is the same as my room, except on the port side of the boat. Except my room is actually bigger. I have a whole hallway, she doesn't. Bathroom and shower that we keep food in too. So That's she- where I get my midnight snacks. <laughs> <laughs> she can't use her shower either, so she has to shower in my parents' shower. Now, in we're on to the love cave. Oh gosh, <laughs> oh gosh. This is the master. You did Come not just in. say that. It's the love cave. Apparently this is the love cave. No. <laughs> they have a bed. It's pretty big. This is the biggest room on the whole boat. Hello. Welcome <laughs> to the master bathroom. This is our head. Oh, nice. Just like every other bathroom on this boat. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> we all have the same size bathroom. So yeah, so that's four different cabins on this boat. called the saloon. We do school here, we eat here, we watch movies here. This is our TV. She's cleaning up for you. This is the galley, also known as the kitchen. This is where we cook our food. We have a fridge right here. We have a dishwasher and we have a sink. And we have a microwave. We have a really fancy coffee machine that my parents love to use. They're, they they love their coffee machine. They couldn't live without it. That's why it is on the boat with us. This is our little day bed where you can just chill and hang out. And especially on passages when it's super rough. And then you walk. <sighs> this is our home station. This is the wheel. It's covered right now. And then we just have a couch. <laughs> I just fell. <laughs> and this is awesome to look at stars at night and to also lay on passage. You get a great view of the mast and it's really comfortable too. Right here, how many, how many kilowatts is this? This is just under 3000 watts of solar. So three kilowatts. This this powers our entire boat. We make water, we wash our clothes, we have we run the dishwasher, microwave, all of it, everything is ran with our solar. Yeah. It's awesome. It wasn't like that for us last season though. We had a little bit of solar. And we're just more off the grid, living off the land over here. You know what I'm off saying? Off grid living. Thank you, son, for the power. And that brings us to the bow of the boat or the front. What up, Captain Dad here? Uh, <laughs> the four peak. We have one on each side. This is the starboard four peak. And inside here, it's kind of like our garage. Extra butt wipes, you know, all oh, the important okay. things. This is a very important part of our boat right inside of here. We don't really run the generator much because we have a ton of solar and we pretty much can do everything on our boat with solar energy, but we do run it when we want like full on air conditioning. That's the generator. That's the generator. First time ever seeing it, Jaden. <laughs> yeah, I actually like don't look at that stuff. How tall is our mast? Our mast is 76 feet tall. How much does our boat weigh? Our boat weighs about 18 tons. What is the girth of our boat? Wait, the width or the girth? Wait, what? Cut. The beam of our boat is 26 feet and the length of our boat is 45 feet, 10 inches. Arguably the most important thing on our boat other than our boat is our minivan. Can we can we call it like something else not a minivan? Why do you hate me? I don't want to call it a minivan. It's our car. Look at our car. It's a high field tender. Okay, there's an engine under here and it's a 54 horsepower Yanmar diesel. There's another one that looks just like it over there. If you know what that just means imagine. or if you care. Everyday Saturday. That's our boat name. my boat tour i hope you like my boat this is my home and i love my home come back next sunday for a new video and follow me on instagram if you want <laughs> bye guys love you